no further ado, please help me welcome our guest. You know her from Genshin Impact, League of Legends, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, and a little television show called Sailor Moon. Please help me welcome Christina V. Sorry, let me just, let me try to sit in the most like, I, I wore the wrong outfit, guys. I've already slipped. I've been standing up and down all day. There we go. This is fine, right? And congratulations on making it up the stage in those. Uh, Thank you. Those Thanks so much. I only packed these this weekend, so. <laughs> so how have the, the, the folks, your line has been crazy. How have the folks oh. at, in Raleigh been treating you so it's far? It's been so nice. It's been pretty crazy, especially for a Thursday. It's Thursday, right? Yeah. It is Thursday. <laughs> Afternoon. Yeah, it's been great. Thanks for coming, guys. Is this your first time here in, in Raleigh? I, I I don't know. First time in a long time, for sure. Yeah. How many of you out there, this is your very first comic convention? Yeah. Whoa! First panel. Yeah. Whoa! Well, thank you so much for spending that time up here with us. Uh, I, I'm so excited to have you up here. And, and, and I mean, you're... You've just been so busy, and you continue to be busy. <laughs> yeah. So the, the projects that you've been working on, uh, obviously, we won't be able to get to all of them. But um, you know, I want to I want to talk about a, a couple. Um, so uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I was uh, on vacation, and, and my son was was not feeling well, and so we had to end up staying in a, in the hotel room. So we yes. turned on the television, and uh, Tales of, of Ladybug came on. Yay! Mm -hmm. On Disney? On yes, on, nice. on Disney. On the, on the Disney Channel, and I was like watching, I was like, this is actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's what people did. They're like, you know, I watched Ladybug, and actually, <laughs> like, we actually, like, I'm like, yeah, it's really, it's really cute. Um, I, I usually don't watch shows that I'm in, and I still haven't seen all of Ladybug, but I think I, I started playing season four, because I just wanted to see it, and I binged it. I was like, this is actually, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I mean Oh, apologies if it came out like that, but oh, no, yeah. <laughs> but uh, do you get that a lot with people who watch the show for the first time, your friends, and they go, oh, huh, that show that you're in. Yeah, I think a lot of people assume that it's a, like for little kids, and so I think they're surprised, like, oh, actually, this is like something I can get into. Yeah. How did you get involved in voiceover work to begin with? You didn't want, that's not what you set out for, right? Did you, you wanted to be an animator actually, correct? I, um, when I was very little, I thought I was gonna be an animator, but then, um, guys, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> um, because I didn't know what voice acting was, but when the Lion King, like, I, I grew up with like, you know, those Disney cartoons like Lion King Aladdin, and I memorized the Lion King completely because I wanted to be the character, so I would just be sitting in front of the TV with it muted, and I knew the entire script of The Lion King. I'd do all the characters, I was always singing, and then I found Sailor Moon, and when I was super, when I was like uh, 12 or so, or maybe younger, I kind of clicked, I'm like, oh my gosh, that, that's somebody's job, I want that job. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I started practicing on the internet, um, and then I just got really lucky. I got an audition at Anime Expo when I was uh, in high school, and I've been going ever since, ever since high school. Well, you started in high school. Yeah. Like, did you, um, did you continue and go to, like, school for it? Did you take lessons? Yeah. Um, I wasn't, I, I'll be honest, guys, like, I know there, there are some people who are just, like, naturally, like, amazing, talented performers. I wasn't. I was so shy, like, like what is that called? Painfully shy. And but I just knew I wanted to do it, and I was, um, I, I, I like won like art awards. People thought I was going to be an artist because I would like enter these competitions, and I would win for my art. And then I played in the band, and I was like first chair, like snare drum, and all these other things. Not acting, and acting was completely new. But I just knew like that was it for me. So um, it took a lot of hard work in college. I felt like I had kind of a late start compared to all the, some of the other actors who were already doing it all their lives. And I'm like, I'm just learning. Um, so it took me a long time to get good at it. Um, I would definitely call myself a late bloomer um, in that regard specifically uh, because 
you know, that was something I kind of found and switched up later. Um, and that's been pretty rewarding to see, like, uh, just like the progress that you can make when you dedicate yourself to something. And I definitely did learn a lot on the job, too. Have you, is there uh, a particular actor or set of actors that you have learned from? Um, of course there are, like, the people I really look up to. Um, my big three, of course, are Grey Delisle, Tar Strong, and Chris Summer. They're just like the queens, and they're so versatile and amazing. Um, and then Tony Oliver is a director that we all worked a lot with, and he really believed in me, even when I wasn't, even when I wasn't good yet. He just he he told me he saw something in me. Um, yeah, those are I think those are the main people I look up to. Let's talk about Sailor Moon for a, a little bit. So. Uh, again, you were saying when you were growing up, that was one of your your, yes. your go-tos, one of your favorites. So, when you auditioned, was it some? Did did they seek you out? Did your agent say, "Hey, you should go see this"? Um, they, I actually got that audition from the studio, Studiopolis, and that was my first time hearing from them about any audition ever. And it was the guys. The stakes were high. Let me tell you, I got out of the audition and I cried. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. They're like, why are you crying? I'm like, I just got some good news. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, just, I can't even say what it was, but I'm like, this is just, it's, it was a really big deal to me. Um, I thought it was for like the reboot, like there was going to be a new show or something. Um, and I had no idea we were redubbing Sailor Moon until I like, did the first session. It was extremely NDA'd. Um, but it was, it was pretty surreal. Um, yeah. So was uh, was was Mars your favorite? I have to know. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did a read for her. I was like, Sail uh, Sailor Venus, Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Jupiter. I'll read for all of them. I'm like Sailor Mars. I don't think I sound like her. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I should just audition for her anyways. <laughs> and, then, and then you know, hearing it back when, when we're finished recording, I'm like, oh my god, I sound just like the original. <laughs> like I'm so glad I read for it because there you go. That happens a lot. It's like, I'm not going to read for these characters. Like, I don't sound anything like, and then I book it. So, read for everything. Take every opportunity. You never know. I mean, I think that's, that's great advice, is to read for everything. Is there, has there been something that you didn't read for that you ended up yes. regretting? Yes. There's a, my favorite video game franchise had a code name, and I just happened to be, like, very busy that week. Like, so busy. I was like, I don't think I can audition for anything this week. And then the game came out, and then I saw like the code name was like the tagline of the game, and I was like, no. And I looked at my email, and there was the audition. And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I missed out on that one. Guys, rip, rip the dream. Also, I want to show you my Bulbasaur purse. Woo! I love, I love Pokemon. I love Bulbasaur. He is my favorite. Yeah, I'm just living my best life, guys. <laughs> So, I, I mean, with, you know, you mentioned video games and you've done League of Legends, uh, Genshin Impact. Do you play any of the games that you voice? Oh my god. I used to play League, like, a long time ago, and oh my god, like, Woo! they were so mean! <laughs> like, you suck! <laughs> like, I'm like, my best! And then I guess people could, like, spectate you back then. I don't know if it's still that, I haven't played in a while. But I would play as Lux, who is not the character I voice. People were like, why aren't you playing Riven? So then I tried to learn Riven, and everyone's like, why are you so bad at this character? I'm like, I don't think I, don't think I could take this kind of pressure. <laughs> I don't think I could do this anymore. Um, right now, I'm currently playing uh, Pokemon Unite, which I feel League has prepped me for. And there's no, like, community function, so I'm, I'm thriving. <laughs> uh, and you uh, recently, uh, somewhat recently, yes. uh, had to be a, a dream job where you got to voice one of the most iconic who, characters who of all it? time. Who is it? You got to be the voice of Donald Duck. I got to be Donald Duck! <laughs> oh my god, I heard, sometimes I'm just like walking around like, oh yeah, I'm Donald Duck. <laughs> and then I get like a new, like, a little swagger in my step. I mean, that's, is that, the, that has to be the coolest thing, right? It was pretty cool. It's a lot, you know, a lot of times when I'm just at home, I'm not thinking about stuff like that. But then I come to a convention, I'm like, oh yeah, I did that, that's really sweet. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty amazing. 
doing that. How did that How did that come about? Was it another just you happened to see it online? They came to um, you? No, that was uh, just an audition from my agent. They were looking for a voice match for Rusie Taylor. Um, and I was like, oh, this was before she passed. Um, I just thought like maybe she didn't want to reprise her role or anything like that. Um, but guys, this is so weird because one of my party tricks has always been like, I can sound like the nephews from DuckTales. Uncle Scrooge, that kind of stuff. And they're like, oh my God, you sound just like him. I'm like, I don't know why I sound like this, but. And so when that audition came around, I was like, oh, this is the nephew's voice. So I did it, and they instinct the cast me. I didn't have to go for a callback or anything. And it was pretty amazing to be in DuckTales, getting to do that voice. Um, and then I found out that Rusi uh, passed away. Um, so I feel very, very honored um, that I got to continue her legacy, because I wanted it to be very, I wanted just to do what she did, and I wanted to 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 help like her performance live on so um it was it's a big honor to be able to do that that's I, you know i think that has to be you know to, to be in that first off to be in the disney family which yeah. you are uh you know but to, to, to be donald duck you know even if it's, yeah. you know it, it's just that's something to, to hang your hat on yeah i want i want a teenage donald funko pop please funko if you're listening <laughs> Everyone go to the Twitters. Go to Twitters. Tweet the, at the Funko. Uh, you want to take some audience questions? Nah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so please. Be before we do that, I, I, uh, you go, ahead and you go, go ahead and start lining up. I have to ask you about your cats. Oh my kitties! <laughs> so you, 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 have, uh, you have hairless cats. I have hairless cats. They're the most amazing looking thing. So, I just got a new hairless cat. His name is Zephyr, and um, uh, I wasn't really, this always happens. I, my, my, my corgi, rest in peace, Frey, she passed away. Um, and so I, people were just saying like, you know what they say like, if you break up with somebody, you need to give yourself space. But they're like, if, when it comes to animals, like be open because you never know, like one's just gonna like find you and be either they're gonna need you. So I'm like, okay, I guess, but I couldn't imagine having a new pet. So then I, I was just casually on like this catfinder.com thing and then I see Zephyr, his name was Hunk on the thing. <laughs> Guys, he is so beautiful, he has like, these big white set blue eyes, completely naked, and his ears are like little horns, they shoot right up. Um, and I was like, oh my god, he's, he's mine. So uh, he came all the way from the Ukraine. Um, he was displaced when his owner had to evacuate. So they, they shipped him over. Um, he was in transit for two months, and now he's home, he's waiting for me, and he's like the sweet guys. Get a Sphinx cat, because they're the best. He's just always like, meow, right on my face. Like, please, pet me. I love them. And then, of course, I have Peach, who's my soulmate. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks for asking. I love them very much. Cat life, hashtag Sphinx life. Hello. Are you Hermione? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Amy. Hi, Amy. Do you have a question? Yes. Um, how did you feel on the first episode of Ladybug? <gasps> how did I feel? Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. I just knew it was so special. Um, do you know the episode with Stormy Weather? In the first season, that was the first episode we did. Um, and we wanted it to be so special. I remember we did like her transformation like 30 times just trying to get it right. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to see because I just knew that one day people were going to love it and one day it was going to be really, really big. Um, what do you think about the first episode? Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You don't know? That's okay. What's your favorite episode? Do you watch Ladybug? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. That's okay. Thank you so much for your question. Thank you. That was a great question. That was a really good question. Yeah. 
Hello, hello. Hello, what's your name? Nick. Hi. Thanks for adjusting that. <laughs> okay, uh, I was wondering, uh, did you play the, any of the, the first two Shantae games before getting the role? I didn't. <laughs> but in my defense, the first Shantae game was like impossible to find at the time. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Hello, what's your name? Hello there, my name is Avery. Hi. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. I just want to say, uh, my friends and I are, my friend and I are really excited. Uh, I know Vivi, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, Florette songs, physical release is coming up. Oh, it's physical release is coming up? Yes. yes. Uh, I know at one point in the series, Vivi takes on a very different persona and becomes diva for a few episodes. Yes. And I also know that a lot of times, very little information is available and the process starts for any character. Sure. Was that something you were able to prepare for in advance or did you just find out, oh, I need to be this, I need to be diva now? I didn't know about diva actually until we got to it. I feel like, when, especially in the audition process, um, I feel like it's very easy to be bubbly and energetic and happy, that kind of character. But for Vivi, you know, she, we wanted to, the, the casting directors wanted to make sure we're like, we need somebody who can be a robot, but not like Siri and not too emotional. So it was like, we had to find like that perfect balance of being an AI, but that was also like continually growing. Like every episode she would have like a little bit like character development, like it was pretty crazy. Um, so I think uh, when I got to the diva stuff, it was actually easier. And also with Vivi, I don't know if you can hear it, but you'll never hear me take a breath. Because <laughs> I was like, robots don't breathe. So um, yeah, it was a lot of long work on that show for sure. I will make it my one mission to listen for that. <laughs> yes, you'll never hear me take a breath, probably. I hope not. That is so cool. I'm really excited for that show. Thank you. It's really good. Uh, Avery, you're wearing a, a Batman shirt. Christina, yes. can you uh, are you uh, can you talk about any future uh, projects? No. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? I'm Jordan. Hi. Hi, um, question. You're an angel. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, how do you feel about Hunter, Hunter coming back? Oh, I'm so excited. I hope it comes back soon. How do you feel about it? Um, Good. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it comes back really soon. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, keep the white and gold. Oh my gosh, you guys look amazing. Thank you so much. Hello, you want these boots? <laughs> that would be pretty cool, yeah. This is short Yeah, right? I know, I feel powerful, like with these extra seven inches. <laughs> um, I was staying on Hunter Hunter. I was wondering what your favorite uh, season to film was as Gila. Um, my favorite, oh my gosh. Sometimes it kind of blurs together. Um, I really like the last one. I'm not sure what the arc is, the one with Alika and Narika. Mm -hmm. That was a great one, but also Chimera Ant. I was looking forward to because everyone was like, have you got to Chimera Ant yet? I'm like, no, I haven't. <laughs> like, are you gonna watch it? No, I don't like to watch things before. I like to be surprised. Um, so I really like the emotional scene. So anytime there is like crying, <laughs> it's my favorite. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Hello. Holly. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, fun fact, we actually don't know each other. What? <laughs> yeah, we don't know each other at all. <laughs> Wait. We just happen to stand by each other in line. What? <laughs> My guys got best friends. No, you're right, best let's, friends. Let's put an end to that, and then right after this, you guys are going to be BFFs, right? That is so Fantastic. <laughs> But my question is, you play all these characters that have so many super abilities. Yes. If you could choose any superhuman ability, super ability, what would it be? Oh my god. Of my characters or at all? Open it up to anything. Oh my god. That's so hard. Superhuman ability. Can I just be a Pokemon trainer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
so nice. You could walk around as a child and not be in danger. Like, <laughs> that sounds pretty great. I'll be a Pokemon trainer. What would be your Pokemon? My Pokemon? I want to have like all like the cute ones, like like that bunny, the bunny, and that goth girl one. Like we're just gonna be like a bunch of bad. <laughs> we're all gonna have our heels and strut around. Well, thank you. Thank you. Sprigatito. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey. Nice, nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Adam. Hey, Adam. Uh, actually, my favorite role by you is Sakura from Fate Stay Night, Thanks. especially the Heaven's Fill trilogy. Thank you. My, my question for you is, is that your most serious role that you ever done that, that was very commanding as an actor? Because that, to me, that was like your most darkest series I've ever seen you do. And that was pretty dark. Yeah, well, it was very dark. And <laughs> another thing was, as far as, did you know the character was going to be dark when you auditioned for the role? I mean, how was that process like for you? Um, so actually, the story about how I got cast as Sakura, and here, it's so crazy. Like, I just feel like I've been so lucky in my career, because I wasn't going to be Sakura. In Fate Zero, there was another character who looked like me. She had, like, short black hair. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know. Her. I don't even remember her name, but I was originally cast as her, and they took, they brought me in the booth, and it wasn't a match. I did not, they were like, hey, we're really sorry, you, you're not like this, we, it was miscast. But they were like, um, so sorry, um, but you know what, we want to try you to ha play this little girl, and it was Sakura as a, like a five-year-old, and I was like, okay, yeah, this is much more my wheelhouse. And then Sakura comes back, she's in the new series, and then she gets three movies where she's the lead character, and I'm just like... <sighs> <laughs> and she has purple hair, it was meant to be. Awesome, you did a very good job, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Evelyn. Um, Hi. I just wanted to ask, um, so I've always been a very big fan of superheroes, including Ladybug, and awesome. I know that when I was growing up, I'm 19 right now, but when I was growing up I sort of saw the steady rise in female heroes, and I just mm -hmm. wanted to know what it's like to sort of voice such a strong character as in Marinette and Ladybug, and see the new generation of young girls get to sort of look up to her. Oh man, it's pretty crazy. I feel like, um, it feels like I'm still very much in the middle of it, if that makes sense. Um, the same thing happened with Sailor Moon. It didn't until it took like a couple of years until we were finished with it. Where I'm like, oh my god, this happened. But with Ladybug, I feel like I haven't been really able to like reflect on it so much because we're in it right now. We're in the middle of it, and it just seems to be getting more and more popular. Um, so it's uh, it's definitely not lost on me how lucky I am. It's it's pretty crazy. Um, to see like toys of her everywhere and this huge movie is coming out um, so right now I'm just I do bad when I'm when I try to focus on like things like we're talking about Donald Duck like if I think about it then I get kind of like ah but um, I'm just uh, I feel like I'm just trying to uh, do my best right now and then one day I'll be able to be like that was me I was Ladybug <laughs> That's the, that's the life plan, really. You're doing great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. What a great question. Now, you mentioned, you know, uh, toys and stuff like that. Do you have uh, toys of, of Ladybug, of Sailor Mars? Hmm. Do, you, do you have these things? Do you have, like, a, a, have a shrine a, at home? I have, like, a shelf. I need, like, another one. Uh, but I, I used to buy, like, every figure of all my characters. Um, Sailor Mars, I need to get a new one. My cat, Peach, bit off her head. <laughs> like, you know how, like, sometimes the heads, like, come off of those figures, and you can just put them back? No, it's, like, bit in half. I was like, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that to Ray? Also, where's my Sakura guy? My Sakura figure is haunted. <laughs> it is! Guys, it really, guys, I have like, we could do a whole other panel on like the hauntings of my house, but my Sakura figure flew off the shelf, revealing a note underneath it that like an ex-boyfriend had left years ago, and I'd moved twice since then. Guys, it's pretty crazy. And there's witnesses. They're like, why did that, they're like, that figure didn't fall off, it flew across the room. I'm like, I know. I can't make it stop. You're scheduling this, right? Sorry? 
just leave this panel, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, why? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it in October. Same time, same place. <laughs> Woo! Okay, great. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. Um, so Are you Subaru? I am. Excellent. I am. Um, so in 2020, you yes. made an album that was Did. a bunch of uh, covers from Broadway musicals. Yes. Great album. Thank you. Um, I was wondering if there were any Broadway musicals that have showed up recently in your radar that you might be covering in the future. Oh, I discovered Hades Town. <laughs> oh my God, it was so great. I got to see it with uh, the original cast in uh, Broadway uh, last year at the end of the year. and. I was just blown away. I was like, oh my god, this is the best. So I'm working on a new Broadway album. I'm actually, uh, I just got a new, I guess, manager, producer for my music. So there's going to be a lot of music. We're going to be doing a weekly release schedule, probably starting in a couple months. So. Cool, looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. How do you find the time? I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, work, conventions, and cats. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? I'm Nicole. Hi, good to see you. Hi. Um, in Miraculous Ladybug, yes. who, um, which of the Kwamis is your favorite besides Tiki? I like um, the bunny. <laughs> what's the bunny's uh, name? Trix. Uh, no, wait, that's. Uh, isn't uh, Trix? Fluff. Fluff? Fluff. I like Trix too, though. And the dog, I don't know what the dog's name is. Bark, of course it's Bark. <laughs> How could I forget? Do you, moments like this where, where uh, you know, fans uh, know, seemingly know more about the shows that, that you know, that you're on. Is that, what does that uh, do, uh, you know, when you, when you see the fandoms just growing so much that, that they know so much and they're educating you oh. uh, on, these, on the projects? Um, it's good. I feel like a lot, I mean, because I remember, like, guys, I'm old school. I was into Star Wars before the Clone Wars came out. So, like, in my yeah. mind, like, I knew everything about Star Wars, like, all the creatures and the vehicles. I'm like, the Clone Wars, so mysterious. Not mysterious anymore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Hello, uh, what's your name? Hi, my name is Shiloh. Um, Side note, I actually have a calico cat named Ray <gasps> from uh, Sailor Bear. Yeah, uh, she's got the same personality, that's why I picked that. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> so fiery and cranky, basically. Oh, great! <laughs> um, so my question is, um, being that you've played so many strong female characters, um, how has being a huge role model for, you know, smaller children and then older women like myself, uh, how has that impacted you personally? And oh. is there like one moment that uh, stands out to you where you're like, whoa, I'm a role model? Oh, I, right now? <laughs> <laughs> like I am? Cool. Um, no, I, I, um, I definitely feel like, especially with the ladybug stuff and seeing like, a lot of younger kids are watching it and even like on my social media I feel like I've always just like tried to become like the better better version of myself um, I never want to let anybody down um, well I don't think you could but <laughs> oh thank you um, but yeah I just I guess I guess I just want you know, it really means a lot to me that you guys come out to like my panels and to come see me at conventions. So I really try to just be present with you when you're here um, because I really appreciate it and I want. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? My name is Alanis. Hi, Alanis. I like your shirt, it's very sparkly. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to know. Yes. Since you play Marinette, yes. are you clumsy in real life? <laughs> um, I've already slipped and tripped at my autograph booth twice, so yes. Okay, very much. Uh, and also, do you have a friend named Alia in real life? Also? I don't actually know any Alias. I know, right? I don't think I've ever met an Alia. Maybe an Aaliyah. Do you know Nalia? Can you introduce us? <laughs> Other than the person in the show, no. Yeah, I feel like that's a very unique, unique name, Alia. Yeah. 
Okay. I'll date my daughter, Alia. <laughs> <Her> daughter. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladybug! Ladybug! Hi, Hi. Sorry, I'm so excited. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Amy. It's nice to meet you. Um, I have been a fan of Miraculous like since it first came out. And Amazing. So, I love you. Thank you. Um, um, my question is actually about um, kind of some of the stuff that's going on in the show right now and like you don't have to give us any spoilers. Oh, sure. I just was wondering how you feel about the show kind of returning to its roots and the relationship between Ladybug and Cat Noir and how they're kind of coming back together as a team and the two of them against the world again because that's like the heart of the show how it was in the beginning so I just want to know how you're feeling about it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so this season, this season, last couple seasons have been intense, yes. but this season is trauma. <laughs> I'm glad they have each other. Yeah, I mean, it, it was really cool to meet like all the new superheroes. I think it is really cool to see them. Uh, it's just all, all on them again. Um, yeah, there's just still, there's still so much to explore in the show and I'm looking forward to, to seeing what happens. <laughs> what else happens this season? Thank you so much. Thank you. Cubey. Hi. Wow, hello. Um, I was wondering. Yes. Obviously, I'm going to ask you about Homura. Yes. Um, wh what did your mindset go through going from a shy girl to someone who was just stone cold to absolutely distraught over Monica? What type of mindset did you have to go through? Oh man, that show was. Oh my god, that show was really intense. Um, I was definitely a newer actor when I did that. I think I was still in school, actually. Um, and it was that, that show kind of taught me how to act, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I had a great director on it, um, but that was like one of the only times where I would record it and I'd go home and I'd be thinking about the character. Um, it's such a good show. Again, I feel like I get cast as like these characters with a lot of trauma and like <laughs> sad things. And for me, oh man, I feel like for Homura, it's easy to play like the big emotions, but my, my, the ch thing challenging about Homura was like her subdued self, you know, where she's not monotone, she's not like quiet, but she's just very like stoic. Um, yeah, it's a really awesome show to work on and I hope I can't wait for the movie, the new movie to come out. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Sally. Hi. Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> nice to meet you. So, who, you said your favorite Sailor Guardian wasn't Sailor Moore, so okay. who's your favorite inner guardian? Oh man, my favorite was always Sailor Venus. I love Sailor Venus. I love you too. She's pretty. Yeah. They're all pretty. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So you, you have a, a lot of a lot of fans that when they get up to the mic, it's it's hard for them to speak. Have you had that experience on your end where you uh, at a convention or on set where you saw somebody and you fangirled out and you were just like, oh my god, I, I can't I can't even speak. Not usually when I'm on set or like at a convention, but I have an embarrassing story. <laughs> I'm sure nobody wants to hear that, right? <laughs> so I was coming home from a convention, I had a layover switch planes, and I was walking through first class and I saw and locked eyes with Ewan McGregor. <gasps> and the first thing that came to mind was Mom! gift is my song. So I'm just thinking this and I'm looking at him and I realize I've been staring at him for too long and then he just got kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> I blew my shot. It's never going to happen now. But um, what else? I've met a lot of cool people. Oh man, but that was like the one time where I was like, because I wasn't expecting it. Cause I, you know, I'm, I'm good at like comp compartmentalizing, um, but not that time. I was caught completely off guard. <laughs> Obi, Obi Wan. See, this is why I can't meet him in person. <laughs> I didn't make a fool of myself. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Uh, recently, you played uh, Green in the uh, short series Pokemon Evolutions. Yes. 
Uh, were you familiar with her character in the manga prior to her re oh. uh, reemergence in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee? I wasn't. Really? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I keep getting that answer. <laughs> Why, what happens to her in the manga? Well, I guess you'll have to read to find out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, Thank I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Spoiler free room. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. So I had a question. You signed my cinnamon print. Yes. That's your desk. I was wondering, do you have a favorite bachelor or bachelorette from any of the Ring Factory games? Oh, mine. Really? <laughs> um, I actually, oh, I'm like, this is like embarrassing for me. I haven't played them. I haven't played from Factory, but I'm gonna play from Factory. The new one that just came out. I okay. Yeah. Quick other question. I yes. think you noticed my shirt at your booth. Yes. Do you have a favorite character from Higurashi? Oh man, I'm just traumatized by Higurashi. <laughs> I haven't seen the new one, but I saw like the the one from Yeah, that's the best one, so. The best one, yeah. And the, her name is Rika. No, no, the the one with the blue hair? That's Rika, yeah. That's Rika. Do you like Rika? She traumatized me with that <laughs> one scene. With the knife? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing. So I guess her. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Bug. Hey, good to see ya. What's your favorite Star Wars? My favorite Star Wars? Oh my god. Okay. All right, all right. So, I have two favorite. Is that okay? My favorite of the original is, of course, Empire Strikes Back. But guys, and this is where, okay, uh, I forgot the name of it. What's the most recent one that came out? Rise of Skywalker. I love it. I Whoa. actually love it. I don't know why, but it gets me every time. Like, I'm like crying like through half the movie. Um, I don't know, it's not a popular opinion, but I love it and I love Kylo Ren. Have you guys been on Rise of the Resistance at Disney? Yeah. Yes. That is like the best ride. 100%. Ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Wait, what's your favorite Star Wars? What's your favorite Star Wars? You must know. Keep thinking. Keep thinking. I don't like this. I have no idea. <laughs> All of them. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Rogue One is also pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey, good to see ya. Hi. <laughs> Why did you uh, start the show, Ladybug? Why did I start it? Um. So I I got an audition a couple times. I auditioned it for it many times, but as soon as I saw her picture and I saw Cat Noir, I was like, that's a cat boy? <laughs> what? This is so cool. And I thought, wow, it'd be so cool to be anybody in the show. It looks amazing. And so I thought maybe I would be Tiki or the mean girl. I don't know their names at the time. And, but to my surprise, I got Ladybug. And I got, I, I was telling the director the day, I'm like, I think I have like the best like voice acting job right now. Like, I don't think there's a better job than Ladybug in this whole town at this moment. And he's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel very lucky. Um, yeah, I'm just glad I get to be it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we have uh, enough for, are you getting in line? So we have one, two, three, four, five questions left. All right. All right. <clears throat> Hello, what's your name? Uh, I'm Vincent. Oh, Hi. that's weird. Um, so you said earlier that you like playing like fun, bubbly characters. And yes. how did you feel about playing Peggy Sue in Belle? Oh, they're so cool. So I have kind of, I don't want to call it like a curse, but I'm always cast, like even with Vivi, with Kaon and with Peggy Sue. I'm cast as characters who sing because they want me to sing. And then for some reason, I don't get to. So I was supposed to sing as Peggy Sue and they, they decided, no, it's, we're not gonna have you sing. Um, but I fell in love with Belle, the movie. 
and I was so excited that they asked me to be in it. I would have loved to be in it in any capacity, and it was so cool to be to be Peggy Sue, especially with like the whole like internet singing presence thing. I was like, this is perfect. She looks amazing, um, and it's such a, a great movie. I love it so much. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi. Thank you, Good to see you again. We met her, yes. Yes. Well, I know I talked to you earlier about season five. Yes. If you can't tell any little secret or when it's going to air and Disney or... Oh, I don't, they don't even tell me that. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> but I feel like with Disney, they kind of, they don't do like the week, like, you know, like uh, Gloob. They kind of just release it as it goes. I think Disney waits to put it all at once, so it might be a little while. Have you seen any of those season five? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'm the Miraculous Ladybug. I'm in my 30s. I already loved you in know, Salem Mars, and Salem New R. Thanks. Like I heard you playing Miraculous Ladybug. I watched the first episode. I was like, I could get into this. Yeah. I like it. Especially mm -hmm. Chloe. She's a snob and too too so, Chloe's pretty great. Yeah, she is in her own way, in her own special way. In her own special. Mm -hmm. I like Lila too. Yes. But yeah. I can, <laughs> I like a good villain. Uh, hopefully, I come back with my son because I want to. Hopefully, you do voice character with Marinette or Ladybug. When oh I yeah, come for back sure. And see you and, okay. But yeah, thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a good cool. one. Hello. Hi. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. We're kind of twenty with the shoes. So yeah. I feel your struggle walking. Oh my god. I feel I feel left out. This is a very smart choice. Hey, Those are cool though. Look at that. Next, next year. Next year. Okay. You next can borrow year. these, actually. <laughs> Hello. So, I was just wondering if there was any, like, lines from any characters you've done that, like, stuck out as your favorites, or if you, like, quote any just day-to-day -day sometimes, or just, like, what are some lines that's always stuck with you? Or maybe Hunter or Summer, but any. Hunter, huh? Oh, man. What lines stick with me? Some weird things stick with me. I never have control. Um, oh, man. I don't know. The first thing that comes to my head is, uh, I don't know if you guys know Billy Kometz, and he's not a character, he was a real person. Um, and he would always say, whatever you see him, he'd always say hello the same way. He'd always say, how you doing? <laughs> and, and so like that always stuck with me. Um, and it always will, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. But I will say uh, for Hunter Hunter, because uh, Q was one of my, like, my first big boy voices, and I, there was a line that I would say whenever I got into the booth to get into voice, and that line is, I'm a boy. I'm a boy. <laughs> I'm a boy. <laughs> Go. <on. laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, you played Azumi and Aji in like 2016. Yes. Was that a hard role trying to get? Um, um, did I audition for her? I feel like they gave it to me. <laughs> so no. <laughs> but I loved her. I have, I have, she's one of my figures that I have on my, my shelf. I thought that was a cool. It was a cool show because the main character, they, they show him and he's like really different from it, like a lot of different main characters. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really cool. The whole show was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, I was wondering which miraculous character you think has the most similar personality to yours? Similar? I think probably Marinette. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Or, or Cat Noir's puns. <laughs> My pun game has been pretty weak lately, though. I need to get back on that. Pun game a week. Are we done? We're done. That's going to be our time, but I mean, this is just day one. Oh my God. This is just Guys. day one. You're gonna be back at your table? Yes, I'll be back. I'm leaving around 6.30, so. So make sure, uh, you, have, you have any last words for our, our fine folks here in Raleigh? I'm a boy. <laughs> <laughs>